اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Mediator and Moderator In this session we are going to talk about the differences between a mediator and a moderator. Now many a times we are confused as to what is a mediator and what is a moderator. And can a mediator become a moderator or a moderator become a mediator? Now precisely there is a significant difference between the two concepts and they should not be confused with each other in any way. These are two separate variables and they serve a different purpose. For example, in the diagram that you see on your screen, W is a moderator that is moderating the relationship between X and M. So the arrow from W is pointing towards another arrow. Whereas M is a mediator and an arrow is pointing towards the variable rather than the relationship. So a moderator points towards the relationship whereas a mediator has an arrow pointed towards it and an arrow pointing from it towards another variable. Moving on, a mediated relationship also referred to as an indirect relationship is defined by the presence of one or more variables that intervene to transmit the influence for example from variable x to variable y. In particular, in mediation analysis, researchers examine whether a change in independent variable brings about a change in a mediator which in turn results in changes in the dependent variable. As we saw earlier, x influences m, m influences y. So x brings about a change in m and m brings about a change in y. The analysis considers three relationship, a direct path between the independent and dependent variable here it is between x and y. A first stage path representing the link between an independent variable and the mediator. Here it is x and m. And finally the second stage signifying the relationship between the mediator and the dependent variable. Here it is m and y. However, in contrast a moderating effect is defined by the presence of a variable that changes the influence of variable x on y by impacting the nature, direction or strength of relationship. Here it is. So here W is a moderator that could strengthen or weaken this particular relationship or it may altogether change the relationship from positive to negative or negative to positive. Now let's have a look at it in a more detailed manner. Let's assume I've got this variable IV here and I've got this DV here, dependent variable. Now IV here is influencing this DV here. Now let's say I want to explain how IV influences the DV. So in order to carry out this explanation, what I would need is I would need to find out what and how IV influences another variable, maybe another mediating variable and how this variable influences this variable. Now in this case, this is your mediating variable. Now let's assume, for example, we all have experienced a job stress in our organizations. And we normally say that job stress leads to deteriorating organizational performance. Now is it that simple? Not really. Actually what happens is there are a lot of other variables intervening this particular relationship. Normally what happens is that job stress will influence the employee's ability to communicate effectively. That will affect maybe the coordination within the organization. That may affect the level of internal service quality and they, that may affect the level of external service quality and that may lead to poor organizational performance. There could be other mediators as well. So all these here, these are your mediators. Look at this, job stress leading to Poor communication, poor communication leading to low coordination, low coordination leading to low internal service quality and low internal service quality leading to low external service quality that ultimately leads to poor organizational performance. So this is or these are your mediators. So they are explaining the relationship that how job stress leads to 
poor organizational performance. So what happens is X causes Y, Y causes Z. So this is your mediator. Now let me give you another example for a moderator. Let me remove this. Next, let's say I've got this variable here, collaborative culture, that is influencing organizational performance. Now, with an increase in collaborative culture, there could be or there should be improved organizational performance. Now, there could be a third variable that could influence this particular relationship here. Now, the variable that is influencing this relationship here is your moderator. Now, that third variable is not explaining how CC will influence OP. It's rather modifying this relationship. It may be positively affecting this relationship. It may be negatively affecting this particular relationship. Now, in this case, that variable could be job stress. So what happens is, let's say we assume that with improved collaborative culture, there will be improved organizational performance. However, this particular relationship, this positive relationship will be weakened if there is job stress within the organization. So a higher level of job stress would weaken this particular relationship. Now this relationship, now this variable here, job stress is actually impacting the relationship rather than it influencing the variables here. So job stress is your moderator because it is changing the existing relationship. Maybe it is strengthening the relationship, but in this case, it is weakening the relationship. Let me give you another example. Let's assume we've got another variable. Let's say it is servant leadership. So servant leadership could influence organizational performance. Improved servant leadership would lead to improved organizational performance. This particular relationship may be further strengthened if the organization has improved social responsibility. So higher social responsibility would lead to improved relationship between these two variables. The relationship between servant leadership and organizational performance will be further strengthened if there is social responsibility within the organization. Now again, a moderator may serve as a mediator and a mediator may serve as a moderator. Now this whole thing depends on how are you contextualizing your variables or how you explain the relationships. But obviously if a particular variable can fit a conceptual scope of a moderator or a mediator. Now it is for you to decide how you want to take it. For example, let me give you the same example here. Let's say we've got this variable here, corporate social responsibility. Now this corporate social responsibility will influence servant leadership and servant leadership may influence organizational performance. Now here X causes Y and Y causes Z. So your servant leadership is your mediator. Look at the example. Now if the organization has socially responsible initiatives, or they are showing corporate social responsibility, this will lead to improved servant leadership within the organization. And with improved servant leadership, there will be improved organizational performance. Now, look at my ex explanation. I'm saying that CSR will influence or lead to improved servant leadership within the organization and improved servant leadership will lead to improved organizational performance. Now, let me change this slightly or change my explanation. So, we say that if there is corporate social responsibility, this will lead to improved organizational performance. But although an organization may have corporate social responsibility initiatives, we do not see that there is improved organizational performance. Why is that so? Because it does not have servant leadership. So no matter if the organization has corporate social responsibility it will not lead to organizational performance or improved organizational performance if it does not have servant leadership. So servant leadership strengthens this particular relationship here. So now I've changed servant leadership as a moderator changing this particular relationship here between CSR and OP. Now this depends on how you are explaining the interrelationship between the variables. How are you taking the variables as part of your study? 
A particular variable may serve as a mediator or it may serve as a moderator. Let me give you another example. For example, we've got this variable HRM, Human Resource Management Practices that influence organizational performance. Now, the, it is mentioned in the human resource management literature that with improved human resource management practices, there is improved organizational culture and that leads to improved organizational performance. So X causes Y, Y causes Z, and this is your mediator. However, let me change this slightly. Human resource management influencing organizational performance. And we assume that this is a positive relationship. Now this positive relationship may change because of organizational culture. You may have improved human resource management practices within the organization, but this will not lead to improved organizational performance unless or until you have improved organizational culture. So your organizational culture is changing the relationship between HRM and OP. With improved organizational culture, the impact of HRM and OP improves. Or with bad or poor organizational culture, the positive relationship between HRM and OP is weakened. Now in this example, once with my explanation, I served OC as a mediator. And in this example here, I served OC as a moderator. So this depends on how you are putting in your variable and how are you contextualizing your variable for your study. I hope this session would have helped you understand the difference between mediators and moderators. Thank you very much.